Hi guys, welcome to my channel, Thelma's Creations and More, where I am excited to share with you the first video of the fall-themed tag flip series here on my YouTube channel. Um, like I had mentioned before, we are going to be doing, or I am going to be doing, a series of videos showing you from beginning all the way to the end on how to do a fall-themed tag flip. So, this is the first video, and we are going to start off with, or I am going to start off with, showing you what I do to prepare um, to make this project. So, the first thing um, I'm going to show you is how I selected my items that I'm going to use. Now, for me, in my case, it's easier if I have everything together. Um, so, when I create, sit down to create, I have everything that I need. So... On the side of my desk, I have these containers, and they just so happen to be the mint, like um, the mint colored, like the mat that I purchased last week, and they match perfectly. Thank you, Jesus. I call those divine appointments. Anyway, I have picked up these at a garage sale, guys. Yes, at a garage sale. Guess how much I paid for these? Just this right here. I got three of them. Can you guess? Mm, you over there in the corner yeah you in the ponytail <laughs> lol anyway i got three of these for one dollar guys at a garage sale and they stack up up on each other and so now they fit perfectly right there next to my mat that's the corner of my desk and the bookshelf over there in the background what i did was i went through my sash and i went through my um scraps and paper that i had and things like that anything fall color related or that i could use in this project this is a paper just different papers that i found i had some in my stash from last year and so i have cutouts and stuff like that um i put them in the bottom tray on the second tray let me stack it on top hopefully i won't make a mess okay on the second tray, I went ahead and I pulled out stickers that um, I had, uh, stickers that I purchased recently. Anything that would work with um, this fall theme swap, any colors, any paper that I had, I put them here. Okay, so when I'm ready to work, I have everything together. That's the second tray. I'm going to put you down. Now I'm going to add the third tray. Um, I had gone shopping and I shared with you in my hauls things I bought for my fall um, embellishments that I needed for some projects. On the top, I put um, things that I could use in the tag flip that I have bought, like trims and eyelash trim. I found this in my stash. I thought it would look great. Um, it goes with the colors. I don't know. We'll find out. Um, then I added this that it came with my embellishment box because it was to make shakers autumn themed um more trim and ribbons anything that i thought would work i put it up here so when i am working i can just grab my items and start working now i'm going to put you down sorry guys i am trying to find a holder that will work the holder that i had um, my phone is acting up so i have to use my ipad now so i'll take any suggestions you can give me on how to maneuver or hang or hold an iPad other than moving it around and putting it on my desk. I also got out the little shaker bits, beads, because I could use some of the colors. I am going to use the embellishment box that I got sent in the swap. Look at all this fall yumminess so that I could use on my project. I took out a shake, a little embellishment box that I have been filling up with um, autumn colored uh, sequins and stuff that I have and they've been sending me so here I have that um what else have I pulled out I had this little container I had bought at Dollar Tree a while back and I went through my stash and anything that was fall colored I have die cuts look at that owl I have some flower embellishments I made some layered embellishments rosettes um any trim and stuff that I found anything in my stash that will go with autumn colors I pulled them out I have um, realized for me that if I have um, things out this way, I tend to embellish more. I tend to use it if I have the supplies out. For example, if I'm working on a tag and I want you know, to jazz it up and put embellishments on it and uh, so forth, 
um, <clears throat> excuse me. I know I have buttons. I know I have clothespins. I know I have ribbon. But then I'm like, where is it? Where did it go? Is it in the bag? Is it in the container? Because I have several things everywhere. I'm also learning to place things um, in categories by seasons. For example, let me see if I have anything left in here. I'm looking in my file cabinet, guys. I don't think I have anything. Aha, yes I do. My husband got me a file cabinet that I have been using and I am organizing my things. So now I have a file that says fall and let's see what I had already gone through my stash and put in here. See, I have forgotten I have bought these guys. Oh my goodness. So let me show you. I have bought some scarecrows. I think they're so cute. See, I have forgot I had these. But I put them in my flowering cabinet under fall. So now I have these to play with. I have owls. I thought it went with fall. What else do I have in here? See, it's just a, um, as much as an adventure for me as it is for you. Oh, somebody has sent me these in Happy Mail. And these stickers I had used. Where is that little? Ah, I just put it up. I used, look, to make embellishments. The other day, I sat here and made embellishments. With things that I had. Stickers that I had here. This one says Thanksgiving. Those were the ones that came in there. And these were the ones I had left over. So I can play with those. What is it? Oh, owl. See, I went through my stash, and then look, it has a button. But that will work also. Um, and in the back, this one was from, see, Elizabeth Johnson. Make it, share it group. It was my June rack that she sent me. And I put it in the fall because I could use these in the fall. Aren't those owls gorgeous? I put this one. This one was sent to me by Susan Cunniff. Um, I have been trying to find a method on how I can keep... Um, things that people send me in happy mail so that when I use them in my projects I can um, give them credit right for sending me stuff and know that uh, for them to know also that every detail everything that is sent to me I use so Susan sent me these and so now I'm writing it on the package and so I know I have bought these a while back and I forgot see some flowers I can use that and then I had this one's from Dollar Tree I guess I purchased these because I don't have any names I can use these on my fall tags. See, I had forgotten I had bought this one. A six by six paper pad from Tuesday morning. It must have been a while back, I don't remember. And um, see, so now I can use this on my tag flip. In here I have put a scrapbook paper that I had laying around and I had already started making some policy envelopes which I still need to glue down. But I made some policy envelopes in fall colors so I can package up um, goodies and send them in fall themed um, envelopes or I can just send out a letter or happy mail out in these. So for the first video is gather any supplies that you can think of that will go with a tag flip. Um, anything in autumn colors. Um, like I said, for me it works better if I have them all out and this will go. In the, the little and those holders these stack up nicely and I'm showing you how I organize my things so that I can have them all here and put it in there so now instead of having it all over my desk oh it won't fit my goodness okay real life um, ordeals guys I put this in the second shelf because if you remember in the second shelf I just put embellishments and stickers and stuff like that in there on the third on the third one I put paper second one stickers and then this is more paper so I'm going to stick it in here and um, I am using this um, method because before guys i'm going to be quite honest with you i would put everything that i was working with on top of my desk and then when i had to make videos or if i wanted to craft i had a mess so now this is what my desk looks like 
um, I have the mat here and then I have those three um, organizers by for paper and so now I'm going to work on or focus on working on the tag flips I have two to make for a swap and then I thought I'd share how I do it from beginning to end so now I have my paper here embellishment stickers and trims up here I found this little um, container remember I filled it up so I have the embellishment box and whoa 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 don't fall okay you're not gonna pour. put it up here I'm gonna put that there I'm gonna put this here because I had that doesn't go in there but I wanted to put it here in the corner I love it I picked that up at a thrift store when I went to San Antonio or actually the Goodwill and um, so now I have all that and yes it's lumped right there but it's contained and look my mat is free to use so I hope that you enjoyed this first video where I get all my stuff out from my stash that I can use in the project that I'm going to be working with um, so I encourage you if you want to craft along with me pull out your items that you're gonna need have them handy um, if you don't have like these little containers that I have use a laundry hamper guys use an HEB or a Walmart you know those plastic bags that they give you just stick everything in there so that when you're working everything's contained in something like a bag a tote bag a laundry hamper, um, a, sh a plastic shoe box, a cardboard box, um, something that it will contain it. So when you sit down and create, you'll have stuff there um, to do. Another thing you're going to need is just um, one of these. Let me take it off. This one was a journal I made, but um, you're gonna need this little right here one of these binder rings you can find them at Dollar Tree if you don't have a Dollar Tree you can find them at Walmart in the stationery department where they have the um, thumbtacks or well, at least in my Walmart where they have the thumbtacks the staples they have a package of this um, they sell them in different sizes depending on how chunky or how embellished or how many items you put in your tag flip will determine the size of your ring you can also use uh, shower curtain rings which uh, they're over there in my living room in the Walmart bag that I haven't put away so I will show it to you at the in the next video uh, you can purchase shower ring there's rings that are metal and they're a dollar for 12 I will show you that one because uh, they are bigger than this and of course regular crafting supplies glue um, tape runners whatever glue that you prefer scissors um, you know crafty things and I'll go through them as I use them and you can pull out your stuff so we're gonna crafting items um, that we're gonna need little tools um, let me put that right there that waits there when I need it so thank you for stopping by my channel and watching this video I hope that you take some time today to pull out your supplies put them somewhere that is contained so that you can craft with me on the next video we're gonna go ahead and start working on our tags and I'm gonna give you different ways to embellish them and how to make them and how to change it up so thank you for stopping by my channel guys if you like this video give me a thumbs up let me know down in the description box if you are going to be crafting with me along this series I would like to know who is gonna be quote unquote crafting with me or along with me during this series so that you know I can acknowledge you like hey Mary are you following along no that's not the way to do it nah, I'm just kidding but you know I will give you a shout out in my videos if I know that you're here following along so give me a thumbs up if you like it let me know if you're going to craft along with me in the description box and until the next video guys happy crafting bye